Jeremy. That's wow, a tank. Wow, that is Boy, a look at the tank. Size of that one. Come here, buddy. Oh, big, 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 big Now tank. that is what I call a giant bass. Look at that thing. No question about it. Right now, Jeremy and Smith and I are going to look at strategies for catching bass on probably one of the best bass baits ever designed, and it's known as the skirted jig. No question about it, from ice out in spring to ice up in the North Country, they are unquestionably a big bass producer. Oh, look at that thing. That's a big northern bass. They don't come that, that big in this region too much. It's about, I will probably only catch, you know, three or four of these throughout the course of a year. That's a big one. Nice, big bass, Jim, big bass. Whoa! Whoa, that's a whopper, huh? Just came right out of that little piece of cover. Oh, he gave me one more, one more little jump, I like that. This is the time of year right now. It's early June, the fish got done spawning not too long ago. Actually, some of them are still on beds. We got a full moon coming up. But a lot of that cover, that you traditionally bass fish in summer, it's still early summer right now, is not very developed. At this time of year, cover is absolutely king. This lake has wood, it's got bulrushes, it has bog edges, it has tons and tons of different cover, but the ticket to finding these fish right now is accurate jig casting. This is target casting for big bass. You wanna get big ones, you gotta put it where the cover is. Wow, big fish. Yeah. Another nice one. Yeah. You can see it's sort of, wow, look at that guy there. It's a nice, a real leaping leaner. You know, we're, fish, we're fishing way back on these shallow flats, and a lot of this water back in here is relatively shallow, but it seems like a lot of these bigger fish, wherever we have deeper water cutting in tight to the bank, and it's interesting in the fact that the size of the fish goes up dramatically in those particular areas. Wherever you got like six, eight foot of water. Oh! That was a fish that I should have caught. He's blind in one eye, Jim. What? Is he? Got, he? Oh, yeah. What? On this side? Right there you go. Oh, yeah, look at that. No wonder he hit that bait so hard. <laughs> but I tell you one thing, it's sort of. There's no question about it. The bigger fish are holding in areas in these back bays wherever we have deep water cutting into the bank. There we go. Right yeah. out of that deep wood. Nice big bass. Nice bass there Ooh. You go. Ooh. I like that, huh? <laughs> that. A little bit of a deep, Ooh, deep water cut yeah. right there. Yeah, it's deep wood in there. Ooh. Yeah, that's a nice one. The average fish we're catching today is unbelievable. This is pretty awesome in the areas that we're looking for. Right now are those areas that you find just outside what you consider to be spawning bays. This particular zone right now is a big, this, this whole shoreline is covered with trees and bulrushes and all kinds of stuff. But you go around the corner and it's one of those shallow, dark water bays. It's got some sand and gravel along cut bank. That's where the bass were spawning, or a lot of fish were. And now they're done, starting to pork up. Some of them are, and they're out here in this stuff. That's where you look for them. Look for them just outside of those bays this time of year. Bruisers, man, and they love the cover. You gotta throw a jig to the cover.